Hello and welcome to Gen 4. We are here at Texas, Old Texas, here today, also known as Legacy Texas. And it is going to be exciting. I'm very happy to be here. Texas, of course, one of my favorite tracks in any configuration. But of course, Old Texas holds a special place in a lot of people's minds and hearts. <laughs> And we've got the good old Gen 4 out here, going 190. So I think uh, it should be a lot of fun. I'm going to try to get a good qualifying run. Feeling pretty good on time, but I have to hit my marks. And not get loose out of four, trying to get around the line. That could have been better, but I don't think it was too bad. I found it's pretty important to keep it down low for a while for hot lapping. Keep it steady. Could have pushed more there. That's all right. We'll try to do that lap too, I guess. Pushed up a little bit there, and I feel like that loses piece of time on the exit. You can see it building up right there. Unfortunately. So, keeping thr enough throttle in it, but not too much to push up off the bottom line. It's what I found worked best for me. A 296 I got on my first lap is what we're going to go with. I feel pretty good about being in the twos. I was able to get a 133 in open practice beforehand. Good. Could have been different track conditions though. Uh, as of right now, we're looking pretty good. About a tenth up on P2, but still lots of people to qualify, I'm sure. I'm going to spend this time practicing a green flag pit stop. Hopefully we need to use it. Did some uh, practice on that already. So hopefully it paid off and we can have a good green flag pit stop right here and we can feel a little more confident going into the race that we can pull it off when it matters. So looking for Texas out there on the outside wall. All right, down to 50. That feels good. I think that's a nice solid hit in. Park it here in the 19th stall, just because. <laughs> Thank you to Nicholas for letting me use your stall. I'm sorry to see you got a 2x during qualifying. <laughs> um, who else we got ready to go here? One through six all completed their labs. So maybe looking pretty good here. Uh... We'll turn the speech back on. They were being loud, so I wanted to mute them for the intro here. see hopefully everyone gets finished and we can get started but i'm ready to go i'm excited 12 to 1's going what i'm going with as with most things and i got the uh negative 15 and down to 60 on the brake bias because and uh, you might want to sit down before hearing this we are actually going to be using some brakes here at old texas i know i know wild right I don't know if I'm going to do it right from the start, but I think once we get some laps in, I think I'm going to start using just the tiniest bit of brake on entry, just to try to make sure we're not overdriving into the corner, and maybe save the right front a little bit. That's the plan, anyway. See what everyone's looking at, uh, like around us. I'm going to give it my best, but as usual, I'm probably not going to be too good on long run, even when I'm trying to save tires. <laughs> Story of my life, but... Well, we'll try to keep uh, keep it up front. Looks like we're going to start first place. All right. Love it. That's the end of the session. Pole position. Nice one. 
We have the number four here in this 3.3k strength of field, according to Race Labs. I guess we'll aim for a top five. That would be great. Top ten. Be okay. I think I'd be uh, content with a top ten, too. Especially if uh, <laughs> I fall off really bad and just need to try to salvage by keep it a top ten. Hopefully we can do better. But wouldn't be so bad. Just keeping it top ten or something. One to go. Next time by. Session One last lap. Closed. Closed. Two sets of tires. Might have to think about how we use those. Caution's come out. You can see 97-97 just after those couple of qualifying laps. Plus uh, the little extra I did. So these things will be uh, being ripped off the side of the car. Oh, hey. Very nice message. Maybe we'll respond to that quickly while I still can. Oops. There are two additional sets of tires for this race. Smooth. All right, really cool message from uh, where is he? Wesley down there, the number sixteen. So hopefully he has a good run. Jim the best. Stay behind the pace car. There is not a uh, restart zone here in this series. But I am still going to have to be really careful, very uh, focused off the jump because this thing will spin up the tires if we're not careful, as is well established. Restarts aren't as simple as putting the throttle all the way down in this series. Really don't want to be the guy that self-spins. Very embarrassing. Though it does, uh, it happens to just about everyone because it's pretty easy to do. What is the pace car speed? Like 65? It felt like I was falling behind at 65. I think we're trying to get 65 though. So, second gear start. Get ready, going green. Hopefully, we get a good jump. Don't die. Alright, good enough. I was a little bit extra careful there. But better that than uh, spinning into the infield grass. So I'm going to be trying to save tires on both ends of the turns here. That is, not driving in too hard, and trying to be easy on exit as well. Because you don't want to rip off the right rear either. Especially because I think the left rear is going to be feeling it as well. And that can lead to some very uh, loose race car on exit. So I'll try to stay out in front of that. And try to keep this car from uh, yawing out too much. That last lap was at 29.9. If the guy behind has just done a 29.9. Here we're keeping it down low. Easy on throttle. Yeah, so far so good, I think. Other than the fact I'm probably killing the tires. As always, I know I'm like talking like I know what I'm talking about, but like, great assault always. <laughs> I don't actually, I'm just like guessing half the time. Just to be clear. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Doing alright though so far. No cautions. Everyone made it through the start, the initial start. Never a given. When you got so much power under the hood. Just 
just kind of keeping a tiny bit of a acceleration through the middle of the corner, through the corner, just to keep the thing turning on throttle. So that's a good kind of rotation if you can get it on throttle, and as long as you don't overdo it, and kill the right rear. I feel like that should serve us well. Get down. Take it easy. I noticed we had a little bit more room back there, so I backed it off even just a little bit more. If we have the room to spare, as well, uh... Might as well... What are we saying? I didn't, something about three and four. Uh, might as well keep the tires happy if uh, we've got the room to spare. And we got about six tenths right now. Loving it. Very interesting to see how the uh, car's handling evolves over time. If we end up uh, feeling the looseness, or if we start really regretting driving into the corner without using brakes, which uh, I said I was going to use brakes, and I did it a couple times. But right now it's feeling like uh, just getting off the throttle early enough and coasting in is doing enough of a job. Slowing it down, getting us to the bottom. It's doing well enough for me that I'm content. A little bit more sideways than I wanted right there. Friendly wave. Hello, sir. Who are you talking to? I see someone let him by, and that's his hot key for that. Watched uh, Nick's race earlier today. Trying to get an idea of what this was going to look like. I always try to do that when I can. See what works for them, or maybe even what doesn't work out. He had himself uh, a couple of good dodges and one really good save after being clipped by somebody. Lots of uh, interesting action to watch in that race. He's coming up on me a bit. That's okay. I'm not going to push to try to escape him or anything. We're just going to keep doing what we're doing. Maybe backing it down just a little bit more. If we are indeed being worse to the tires. Worse to the tires than some other guys. Feeling a little bit of pushing up mid-corner. So I will try to back it down just a little bit more. So whenever I feel that push, I'm sure the right front's feeling it too. So I'm going to switch to using that tiny bit of brake on entry. Uh, using less throttle as I'm mid-corner as well. Just trying to adjust, trying to stay in front of things. Anticipating what the car's going to want next rather than just reacting to it. Although, in a way, I am still reacting to it, because I'm reacting to how the, how the car's feeling, right? So... Just trying to avoid pushing mid-corner, or getting loose like that too much. I swear I spoke that into existence just then. Loose. It's loose. Wins race. What happens now? <laughs> yeah, right. I, I'm still in the camp that thinks that uh, I'm going to be killing the tires eventually and those guys are going to come past me. It just happens way too often for me to assume that I'm doing everything right. In fact, uh, it is getting pretty loose on exit. So, I might be uh, starting to feel those feelings that I don't want to feel. Smelly smells that smell smelly, am I right? Got a, a nice bit of room, though. Maybe not so much to second, as he's 
just half a second behind. But a full second, the third, wait to me, seconds to talk about that probably got confusing. Press feeling okay, I just gotta back it down a little bit as the tires wear down. It's part of it. Even if you do take care of the tires, they're gonna wear a little bit no matter what. Nothing you can really do about that. Just gotta make sure they wear less than the other guys, right? Tiny bit of break on entry. Still early. Just finished 16 laps, I think it was. Can't look too much. I really got to focus on uh, my mind through the corner. Can't really divert my gaze too much. Will result in me getting loose or something. All right, all right, yeah, we're on lap 17 now. Confirmed. Point six behind. You've just done a thirty-one point one. Just trying to make sure I hit them, hit the line, keep down low. Remember what I said. I execute on the plan. Guess we'll just come in and pit it halfway. That is the optimal time, theoretically. Since uh, the series does actually do like wave arounds and lucky dogs and stuff, we should be able to get a lap back if, unfortunately, we get a poorly timed caution or something. It's not like the 87 series in that regard. Brain stutters. Please stop that computer. I don't like that. Oh my goodness, please. I don't know if that's coming across in the video, but... Going 190. Every frame matters. No frame left behind. Please. <laughs> it's stopping. I think we're good. I have to focus extra whenever the frames are going to be dropping. Darn. It'll be a caution. And we're going to have to come in and take tires. Too long of a run not to, I think. Carter! Oh, Candy? And there's six Aaron Carters or more on iRacing, apparently. One of them's got to be the one, right? Or at least at one time. It's <laughs> Shout out to the Jimmy Neutron movie. Had some Aaron Carter stuff, right? <laughs> Alright, coming in. Coming in for tires. That was a really good long run, so you kind of have to trust that it will go green to the end. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Pit lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Anybody going to save a set of tires and uh, be right in front of the field while the st uh, stampede comes through? See in a moment, I suppose. Two, one, right here. Seventy seven eighty one. Share my tires if anyone else does, I guess. For comparison. Move it, move it. You only have one tire set remaining. Line up single file. We still get cannot make it on fuel. Look, it's Hunter Watford again. Guess we get about 47 on a full tank, it looks like. 7.2 gallons. 7.2, yeah, that's way too much to save, so. So I'll save anyway, apparently, but you know. <laughs> full course yellow, pits are open. 
So let's see. How many laps will we have? Well, if we're going to need to pit again, we will divide 47 and a half, I guess. Right? No, that's not how that works. <laughs> that's not how that works at all. Okay, lap 23. Pardon me, gotta do math. 17. I guess we're coming about 62. Hey, uh, Hunter, did you uh, take four tires and uh, some Sunoco racing fuel in that last pit stop? I just took fuel. Interesting. I don't know what all the cars interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, I was, I was wondering. I was like, damn, this picker is pretty good. <laughs> So that's interesting. Some guy's saving tires. He must have Luigi changing his tires. <laughs> Could pay off for him, for sure. Just gotta hope uh, he doesn't spin the tires up and rack on the restart. Yeah. That thing's gonna be slick. About to go green. Stay focused. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. I hit the chip a little bit. We're okay. Alright, get ourselves through. Turns one and two. Some grip in these tires again feels good, but we'll still have to try to make sure that it stays there. I was pretty happy with the handling of the car. It obviously went away a little bit, but we weren't losing terribly or anything. The guy behind was kind of just keeping even for the most part. So I guess we'll just try to do it again. Hopefully I remember exactly how I was doing it. All right. Didn't include getting loose like that, I will say. That was not part of it. So a little less of that would be great. I just used brake again because I got used to doing that in the last run. I guess it's, I guess it's okay. I, uh... Save tire a little bit better that turn, theoretically, except for that slide again. Alright, apparently guys are saving much more this time, because... 1.5 back, all of a sudden. Third place. Just had a pop up over my screen. Thank you for going. That didn't show up with the recording. I don't think it should, because uh, I report the actual application. <laughs> Just in the bottom corner of my screen, it's like, yeah, we have an update ready. And I'm like, please go away. I would like to see the relative. I wonder if I should be concerned about the gap we've got, like, the third. I wonder if they're, like, expecting this lead that I have to go away with a caution and then knowing that uh, I won't be able to take tires since we all have only one left. I wonder if uh, they're really planning on another caution. It's, I'm kind of planning for there not to be a caution. It's kind of just what I have to go with here. We could definitely find ourselves in a bad situation, though, with an ill-timed caution. Not that I feel like I'm killing my tires, but if those guys are two seconds back right now, they're definitely being easier at the car.
What, five behind us? That's where he's kind of been the whole time. did that a little bit wrong, I think. I think I was a little bit too low at one point. Kind of missed the angle. All of a sudden, the three's falling back. He might have decided, I'm not going to catch him, so I I'm going to do the same strategy as the other guys behind. And in that case, I'm going to have to back it off, because there's no reason, if no one's chasing me, to kill the tires. No one's, like, seriously coming after me. My gap will not matter if a caution comes out, so I'm really going to back it down now. Just keep an eye on that relative. Just try to be smart about how we play this. In fact, go back to using some brakes. I think that's probably a good idea. Just a tiny bit of break on entry. Kind of gassed it up a little early there and that messed up my exit. Closing in on about halfway, still plenty of race to go. Love for it to go green, that's for sure. Eight behind us. Didn't carry much speed through the corner there. That got really loose. I was kind of trying to do it, but overdid it. It's feeling like I had plenty of uh, stability on exit, so I could probably stand to use up the right rear a little bit more, but then I uh, just kind of got loose and stayed loose too long. Pit window is open. Okay, Colton. Cup time's pretty consistent. Pit window is open. We'll watch and uh, we'll see when other people start pitting. Obviously, it's way too early now. We wouldn't cut it in half after pitting with a caution there. We're going to be pitting around 60 something. And uh, the situation could change too, depending on if we keep it out front or not. Second back to P2. 2.8 to third. Should be about 
I might actually pit about a lap later than what I estimated. So instead of 62, about 63. Just in case a lot of other people came to that same conclusion. I can pit and uh, have an accident. And I'll still be out on track. And uh, since I am in first right now, I can afford to do that. But like I said, that could change. Seem to be gaining on uh, the number three. That's good. Not too much uh, excitement to see here. I apologize for that. I haven't really been in a group of cars yet. I'm not going to make the mistake of saying, like, man, I wish this were more interesting, like I did at a Nashville Super Speedway in this car. Because, uh, well, if you saw that video, you know what happened. <laughs> Things got interesting, for the worse. Some smoke. Is 13 having issues up there, maybe? Approaching lap traffic. I feel like Harvick down here on the bottom line, Harvicking around this place. Not saying I'm like talented like he is, just I'm doing the line he does. Not being. Mr. Big Ego over here. I swear. <laughs> oh god, my cue bar. Stop. Every video with this, man. Every race. Cue bar antagonizing me. That's gonna need to go away. I think it is, though. I think we're good. Still don't know why that happens. I think I might need a new Ethernet cable. I've, uh, I keep forgetting to buy a new one. But I think something weird's going on with my Ethernet cable. Hopefully the uh, 13 will make this easy on us. There'll be plenty of track to spare. I'm gonna say all I'm getting it. Thanks, appreciate it. Clear up top. Thank you, and missed the mark a little bit, as is tradition. Even just like taking my thumb off of. Uh, hey, Nick, let's go buy another one. Okay, thank you. Even just taking my thumb off of where I normally have it to touch the uh, microphone button <laughs> kind of just makes me. Miss my mark a little bit. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. It's such a rhythm thing. Yeah, man. Yeah, say hi. I'm feeling good. We got 1.6 back behind us now. I don't think we're falling off either. That's good consistency. Man, I love this track. And yes, I'm biased because I've had success here. But maybe I have success here because I like it here. And then therefore want to race it more. And then therefore get more practice. Yeah, see where I'm going with this? So it goes both ways, I think. Exiting low. I think that really works. No, not taking tires, not the way to go. Oh, yeah. 
God, some guys didn't take tires. That's Honor, brutal. How tires doing? Oh my god. Oh, you idiot. I told you to get it again. Close down to the pipe. Well, great now. Yeah, I'll tell you, pretty good now. Didn't need that. My freaking god. My butt kicker overheated. Now I have no vibration. Run face car by. It's open. Oh my god, there's some guys are. Anthony, I said hitting in, you dummy. Oh my god, hitting him with a dummy. My freaking god. Look out for the pit speed limit. We'll fuel you to the end of the race. Fueling to the end of the race. We'll just make sure it's uh, full. Don't want the car to get tight by adding uh, not enough fuel or whatever. That's a thing that happens. We'll take our final tires and then take our medicine if we get a bad caution. You just gotta. It's what you have to do. Move it, move it. Let's get the tires. Make them last the rest of the race. Line up, single file. Catch that. Plenty of fuel to make it to the end. So no fuel concerns. One person that stayed. He's looking to get the jackpot. Although I guess there are some guys that did stay out. I don't know if any of them stayed on the lead lap though. I'm sure someone did that chose not to take tires because we only passed like what one, maybe two people. We reconsider now that he sees that he's. Alone, it looks like he might be. Anthony, if you can hear me, get a mic or turn it off. Dig your before pitting. Catch that seventeen. Runch is pitting. He reconsidered, so we are back up front. What do you think you're coming on? Yeah, I said pitting in. I was going in the green. I said pitting in, and I saw him, you know, right behind me, and I thought, okay, he'll move up. Nope, he just drove right through me. To be honest, Jeff, I don't know what you said, keep digging, but I need to hit you something. Well, at least you didn't lose too much out of it, man. I mean, I also turned down on the back stretch like, you know, you should. All right, well, they had some pit entry yeah, issues, I guess. Mic, at least turn on or you can hear everybody. The Waifu Squad Dodge will be getting the way around, and then we will take our spot behind the pace car. Sorry, I'm unmuted now. What did you say? It's open. Sorry, I'm unmuted now. What did you say? <laughs> no one's talking. Talking about me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I literally just unmuted when you said you could at least unmute. I mean, I'm assuming you're not talking about me. Cause... Uh -oh. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the 12. Like, I said I was pitting going go. into turn five, and, and he just completely just drove right through me. Oh, unreal. All right. Let's do I it again. Turn down on the back stretch, you know, like the guys do in real life, to say, hey, I'm coming in, but nope. We get a good job. Mike, if you're going to get into a race where you know there's going to be a pit stop, at least turn on the microphone where you can hear everybody. I think we've led every lap so far, right? Unless pit stop, I guess pit stops probably uh, like the guy that stayed out an extra lap. I uh, wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Oops. Get behind the pace car. It's daydreaming. Um. <laughs> What was I saying? Sorry, I'm, I've got a thousand things going on in my head right now. I guess I should focus on the thing that matters, which is this restart. Pace car is off. Time to do your job. 
Yeah, the wheel spin really wasn't that bad. I feel like I was pretty darn aggressive there, and it really, uh, it was okay. Push that pretty hard. We're okay, though. That's what I wanted to do. Get some space. Take advantage of being the control car. I think I'm going to be extra aggressive on exit. I haven't really felt like I've been getting loose too much. So, uh, so long as I'm like all the way to the exit, probably not on the right front anymore. I'm going to try to be a little bit more aggressive. Man, it's going to stink if we get a, a bad caution timing, though. That's going to really be terrible. Because we are out of tires. You cannot put scuffs on, either. Which I hope they uh, change one day. But as of right now, scuff tires. You get uh, the ones you're on. Nothing. I wonder if they eventually move to like the next tire model in the future or something. Maybe that'll be something they include with it. I imagine that would probably be a good time for them to implement something like that. Got ourselves about a second lead. I might back it down a little bit more. Since we have room. Don't hit the apron, you idiot. <laughs> what are you doing? Backed it down more, and then the car turned more. I think I would know that would happen. Alright. Less of that. apron that time. It is possible. I've seen some, uh, I've seen like the number two for the first time. He might have been making his way through the pack this whole race. That's going to be a number to watch. Maybe he's already been there and I just didn't notice, but Whenever you see someone, uh, especially like a high I rating guy, all of a sudden near the front, it might mean that they've been uh, moving forward the whole race and just are now in a spot where they have track position. So that's going to be one I keep an eye on. Uh, I'm so scared of seeing that yellow flag. The scariest jump scare right now would be the yellow flag. Five Nights at Freddy's Who? You got yellow flags, the scariest thing on earth. I swear if those guys intent wreck each other because they're mad, I'm going to be so upset. It's going to be one thing if it's an accident. So those happen. It's understandable. Even if it's a late race aggression or something, that's one thing. 
if you ruin my race because you have a toddler mindset and are going to intent wreck someone. Hunter, take it to the left, please. Thanks, sir. You're faster. That would be very upsetting. Clear path, dog. Oh, here, go west. I'm sorry. Go by. I'll tell you what, though. I swear to God. Are they really, like, wrecking each other back there? Uh, anyway, what I was going to say, I really can't wait. Some of you guys are just way too dreadful. Yeah, they're going to wreck, aren't they? He keeps interrupting me with things that are terrifying. Who, who's aggressive now? Sorry, I'll get back to that thought in a minute. Uh, the Diet Dr. Pepper series by Gavin Lemons. Really excited to be a part of that. I really, uh, I'm hoping to join that. I should be able to. I guess I just need to let myself get ran over. That's you haven't heard about it somehow. It will be a new league. Just like the Nick Neven leagues, or league, or whatever series that I run. Uh, but hosted by Gavin this time. And it'll be the Gen 4, following the 2003 or so era schedule with a few minor changes to allow us to race at places like Nashville Super Speedway and Gateway, a couple of pretty good tracks, and uh, removing like the doubles from the schedule to do so. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, pretty much a guaranteed great group of drivers and uh, racing in the Gen 4 I think that'll be so much fun this has been like one of the cleanest Gen 4 races I've done this one right here a lot of times they can get super messy so the fact that we can race with a group of guys that I know are clean the majority of the time I think that's gonna be so fun and I have uh, race lengths half of what they actually did in real life. So still pretty long. Still going to require some pit stops probably. Really looking forward to that. That starts in June if I'm not mistaken. So not too long from now. But really looking forward to it. I think I'm feeling dirty air from this 18. Actually, which is kind of interesting. I don't remember feeling that earlier with lap traffic, but I'm definitely... Maybe I'm just overdriving this, uh... I'm overdriving the car this time. Got near left to go, 31.0. Car outside. Go on by. Clear up top. Low. 1.7 back to second. Coming to nine to go. Oh my god, no yellow flags, please. That would be devastating. Because then the people that have tires still are just gonna absolutely rocket past us. And I will cry. Grown man cries on live camera. Must see. That's what I'll title the video. You won't believe what happens next. More crying, that's what happens next. I stubbed my toe and only cried for 20 minutes. I think we got this if we can just keep it green. Sorry again, it's been kind of boring, but... I'll say it's still pretty darn fun for me. I had since he's pitting. So I have to be ready for that. Oh, he's being very cautious, that's very cool of him. The captain, Shara, behind is now 1.8. That way it didn't take away my low line. It's very, uh... Very kind of him, he didn't need to do that. Would have been understandable if he still took the normal entry. Uh -huh. 
Oh, how I long to see that white flag. Six to go. Feels like it's taking an eternity. It's because I know at any second it's ruined. From five, five to go. That honestly like made my heart jump just because, just because my sputter talked. So I'm like, I thought he was, was like, all right, caution's out. Sorry, please no, please no, for the love of God, please spare me from your wrath. I have a comment. Okay. No, someone getting loose up there. Oh my freaking god. Please, three to go. Don't do it. That was at 31.3. Still 1.6 back there. They're not catching. I haven't been using brake at all, I just realized. I guess it's fine. I don't really need to. If I were doing a longer run, I probably would still do it, but should be able to hold on for another two laps. That's all we got to do. Low. That hurt our speed, but that's okay. Got plenty of room to work with. Got uh, that guy in a really bad spot. Come on, like ten feet away. Oh my goodness! What? A monkey off my back. <laughs> that was probably the scariest dominated race of all time, just because I was so scared of <laughs> the yellow flag. Oh my goodness! Thanks, good race. I was so terrified we'd get a yellow flag there. Well done, mate. That was absolutely good win, perfect. You won. Great win. You drive a great race. I think that went pretty well. <laughs> wow. Dana, good to see you again. It's been a while since I ran with it. You made it so much fun. Appreciate the racing, fellas. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, we did it. Twelve, where are you running from? Woo! I'll celebrate for this one. We're the number four. It's not like we're the number one. This is a 3.3k strength of field. I think this deserves some donuts. I think this is the first celebration I've ever done in this car. Yeah, I'm just having fun. <laughs> oh, when you get a chance, what were your tires there on that last uh, run? On the last run, it was 63-69. 63-59? but uh, what I have now is not going to be very helpful because I just did a bunch of burnouts. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Hey. Fifty eight sixty five, yeah, I think it was probably better than that. Alright, great stuff. So get the win. 
started from pole. And I uh, really didn't have to sweat too much except for uh, the yellow flag jump scaring me. But it never happened. The anticipation taking years off my life was for nothing. <laughs> we got it done. So, all right. I'm sorry, but some of you guys on here just run way too close to each other with these cars. I mean, don't you understand that if you hook the rear bumper, you're going to turn somebody? I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Nah, I get them. You can't touch bumpers in those cars. Hey. Yeah, that's the problem. Is everybody keeps taking after guys yeah. like Chase Elliott? I mean, it's just freaking ridiculous. All right. We'll see what happened out here. Though I don't think it was too much. Just got the tent finding the wall there and the Aaron's dream machine. Funny car's got a pretty cool papyrus scheme. He's going to spin it out there, though, and that's what brought out our first caution on lap 20. Just backs it into the wall a bit. Doesn't look like he got too much damage. Seven. Finding some more wall, this time on entry. Three's just going to blink a little bit. This was a great race. I'm so happy that we were able to get a, a clean race here at a track I really enjoy. Because uh, a couple of the Gen 4 races not so clean. And uh, it was a lot of fun. So, If uh, a little bit boring. Not for me because I had to fight the loose the whole time. But <laughs> apologies if it was a little bit boring to watch. So the 19 finding wall. So far it's just been a bunch of walls. We're already halfway through the race and the incidents here. And skip ahead until we see some cars potentially near each other. Getting closer to whenever the next caution was, which uh, I believe is whenever the 11 and the 12 got into each other. I think because of a pit entry miscommunication is from what I'm gathering what happened. Yep, there it is. So the 11 was saying pitting in, and the 12 didn't hear about it, I guess. Just gets into them. And that's what ends that run. The 21. Doing a whole lot of nothing, except for hitting the corner. Just fine. <laughs> Cat just freaked out for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Sorry if you heard that. Moving along. Just guys going through the corners. Probably tires hitting a certain point. Much to see. We did go green at the end. I remember there was a sorry at one point. I don't know if we're going to see something related to that. Nope, nope, nope. Whole lot of nothing. I don't think we're going to see anything else. I think we're just seeing tires hit about, you know, below the 50 mark. Yeah, I guess that's going to be it. This was just uh, some messing around after. After the race. So that'll do it, I think. All right. Well, that couldn't really have gone much better, I think. I mean, we got, our, we got it clean. I think we led every lap except for uh, maybe some under caution stuff. Felt like we did good on tires for once, or maybe they just didn't matter. Would have been interesting, I think, to see uh, what some people said. What did Wesley do? Uh, so he must have run into trouble. I forgot to check for him during the incidents. But I guess he finished where his card number was, so... Not too bad, I guess, at the end of the day. But 
That'll do it here for Texas. Love this place. <laughs> um, we will uh, call that good, and I will see you next time. Hopefully we can keep it going. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one. See ya.